Welcome back to the courtroom. In February this year, many doubts were raised in a trademark matter between Samsung and Delhi-based IT hardware distributor. The Delhi High Court single bench ruled that trademarked goods should only be imported through authorized distributors or with the permission of their trademark holder. But that now has been overruled by the division bench of the Delhi High Court, reaffirming that India allows parallel import or import by unauthorized dealers and subsequent sale in the domestic market. Isha Shekhar tells us more. Did the Indian Trademark Act envisage protection to economy or benefit to consumers? This was the broad question which the Delhi High Court seems to have answered in its landmark judgment in Samsung Electronics versus Kapil Vatwa. The division bench overruled the earlier judgment passed by a single judge in this matter and has held that Indian trademark law follows an international exhaustion regime. But first, the facts in a nutshell. Champion Computers is a hardware and peripherals distribution house that sells a range of IT products from several known vendors. It was the case of Samsung Electronics that Champion Computers was purchasing printers manufactured and sold by Samsung from the foreign markets and imported the same into India. Hence, selling the product in Indian market infringed the registered trademark of Samsung in India. The Delhi High Court, however, does not seem to have agreed on the same. Essentially what the single judge had said that, that was that every time any good is sought to be brought in from a different country into India, the permission of the trademark owner or the rights holder has to be taken by the importer. So that requirement has been done away with by the Delhi High Court in its interpretation and the division bench has said that uh, as long as it's a legitimate good, as long as it's a genuine good and you're merely importing it on an as is whereas basis from a different country, the law permits you to do so. The court answered two questions through this case. Whether Indian trademark law follows national exhaustion, that is the rights of trademark holder exhausting in the domestic market or international exhaustion, that is the rights of trademark holder exhausting after the first sale irrespective of the territory where it has been sold. And whether or not parallel imports are authorised under Indian trademark laws and infringe the trademark of the rights holder. Overruling Samsung's stand that national exhaustion was in country's best interest and was more favourable from an economic point of view, the judges said that India does not follow the policy of national exhaustion in its trademark statute. The court says, and I quote, This is a matter of policy and it is for legislature to take a call. We must note that the adoption of the principle of national exhaustion may not necessarily encourage industry to be set up in that country. Door pricing may cause injury to the consumer. India has followed international exhaustion uh, uh, of uh, the general kind, meaning uh, if a product uh, bears a genuine trademark and has been released uh, in any part of the world, then further dealings in that product, no matter which part of the world, would be exhausted, which means the proprietor has exhausted his trademark rights to control further dealings in that product. So, so the uh, division bench judgment of Delhi High Court essentially reiterates this principle. In fact, it has been India's stand for a long, long time. On the question on whether parallel imports are allowed in the country without the danger of infringing trademark rights, the judges said that the single judge took an erroneous approach that import of goods in India needed the consent of registered trademark owner. What the court uh, has effectively done is sent out a message that if you're trying to create market segmentation on the basis of price, because you want to book profits in the country from which you're importing and then you want to book double profits in India, then that's not what the court is going to endorse and you can't use trademark law as a vehicle to support that. Introduce uniform pricing. You will rid every parallel importer out of the market. However, the court here also said that champion computers need to prominently display that products imported into India does not warranty the quality of goods nor provides any after sales services for the goods. We warranty the quality of the goods and shall provide 
after sales services for the goods. The judgment surely spells as a good sign for consumers who paid a premium for products bought directly from dealers like Samsung or Dell and SME businesses who were adversely affected by this trade practice. However, it also raises one important question. How can brand owners tackle the issue of parallel imports into the country and what effect will it have on the enforcement of their trademark rights in India? The court has not endorsed flooding the market with grey goods at all. So if that's an impression that people are getting from the judgment, that's wrong. The court has laid down very strict set of guidelines for what constitutes legitimate imports and what is an illegitimate import. So for instance, the court says that if you are a parallel importer, first of all, your obligation is to ensure that you're not touching the goods, you're not altering the goods, you're not, so you have to bring them in on an as is where is basis, the way they are sold by the uh, rights owner. First of all, you have to bring them in and that condition. Second, those goods have to be supported by warranty. But for now, the importers are welcoming this clarity in law with a stamp of approval from the court. Time now to head into another short break, but coming up on the other side, how much can one rely on circumstantial evidence to prove insider trading charges? We tell you more on that when we return.